Alright, hello people, I'm the dude and these are my favorite builds for every class in Diablo 2. Uh, keep the following in mind. Summoner time, summoner time. Let's see, clay golem. What else do I need to set up? Well, I need some corpses. Create some corpses, please. Thank yous. Please and thank yous. Yeah, uh, just ignoring the fact that Amazon was my favorite at one time, obviously not anymore. Summoner is now my current favorite. I always loved Necro. Necro was fucking awesome from the beginning of the game. But uh, since they included Rune Words, the power of the Summoner has just gone through the roof. Amazing, lovely, beautiful build. Uh, you'll see the power of it for the for the awesome, the anal destruction. I think it's 14. Yeah, 14. 14 is my current max. Basically, all you have to do is spam amplified damage. That's pretty much it. That's your goal in life as a summoner. Just keep amp damage going. And if you feel like it, keep your revives up. Other than that, it's pretty fucking straightforward. Once you got the build set up right. Uh, there's a revive. have something like 24 revives, if I remember right. Let's see. No, 28. Even more than I thought. Get over here, guys. Teleport is so unbelievably vital for a summoner. When you get a huge army, your minions will, uh, They'll fall behind, they'll get off screen, they'll get lost, they'll get stuck on objects, and you'll lose them, and you'll have to keep resummoning them, which is a massive pain in the ass. Whereas, uh, having Enigma for teleport completely removes that problem. Absolutely wonderful, lovely item. I don't quite have, uh, the full army yet. I'm getting there. One more. This guy should do it. Oh, never mind. Won't let me revive him. Awesome. Amp damage. Get over here. There we go. There we go. Full build. Or, uh, full army. Full army of the dead. Of death and destruction. Go ahead and get over here. When you don't need uh, bodies to be summoning skeletons, you can use the all-purpose awesome corpse explosion, which does ridiculously nice damage. I'm gonna go ahead and group my guys back up before I start losing them. But yeah, pretty much uh, nothing is vital. You could you could literally just walk through hell, and your minions will kill. I mean, as long as you resummon them when they die, which they don't die very often, and when you've got them built well. You could literally, you could ignore amp damage, uh, you could ignore revives if you wanted to. <laughs> this is the most passive, capable build there is. It's pretty nice. And it, uh, it's more or less invincible too. I mean, it's extremely hard to take damage in this build, you just have too many summons tanking for you. <laughs> Plus your defenses are decent too. Got a hair fucking in my mouth. <laughs> uh. Uh, ready to die? I know you are. Usually I do something like this. Make a little mini wall in between here. 
And then just amp damage and watch them die. Ugh, losing my revives. Well, summon the next fucking wave, what the hell are you waiting for? There we go. I'm gonna get my revive count back up. Other than that, I'm just gonna watch them die. Yeah, Summoner's probably the most passive build in the entire game. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. I mean, look at all the pretty colors. Look at all look at all the little the nice little skeletons running and scurrying around blowing shit up. What the hell? Ugh. Need more revives again. Come on. On the plus side, council members make really good revives, so. With the uh, conviction aura, you'll be lowering resist, so you're Magi and your elemental casting revives will have plus damage and with amp damage all your physicals will have plus damage Makes a nice little combo combo platter of doom and destruction Need Some more potions Sad that you can't revive these guys, that would kick ass. I think that's pretty much it for Ball's minions. As you can see, I never once was slightly in danger in any way. <laughs> that's summoner for you. I could go and get some more revives, but there's no point. I'll destroy Ball just fine. I'm gonna try and turn him away from my minions. There we go. Actually, first I'm gonna teleport to get them all over here. Then I'm gonna try and turn him away. And other than that, just keep amp damage on him. And as you can see, he's dying just fine. Although you might want to watch your health, which I wasn't doing. <laughs> Goodbye, ball. I get a cryptic sword. Interesting. Sazabi's Cobalt Redeemer. Interesting. Well, that's not the worst sword I've ever seen. For a, for a mid-level sword, it, it's decent. It's even got some cold damage for freeze. Or not freeze, uh... Whatever the fuck it's called, where you slow them down. Very fast attack speed, meh on the damage, but oh well, it's decent. Uh, let's see. How many enemies does it take to blow up and Darius face? Come on, guys, get in here. It says get in here. Jesus Christ, get stuck on the door much. There we go, that's better. Hello, Andy. Have some amp damage and a fuckload of minions. <laughs> Let's see. Holy shit, a unique. Wow. Let's see what it is. The scalper. Fast attack speed, some bonus attack rating, not much. Life leech, open wound, some decent mods. And I guess the damage isn't terrible for a low level item, but I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Not great. Oh, my minions are clearing me a path. Good little minions. Orifice for the win. Hello, Duriel. Come on, guys. Surround him. And that's all she wrote for Durminal. Another unique. Lucky run. See what this one is. Rogue's bow. Wow, that is terrible. 
Just cast some deadly strike and some all resistance. <laughs> the damage is god awful. Wow. I might use that on a level one. Maybe. <laughs> Jesus, that is bad. Come on, guys, catch up. Get over there, Golem. I like to use the Clay Golem because you can use him as kind of a slow bomb. Uh, when he's near enemies, they'll be slowed down. And uh, if you just right click him on a group of enemies, he'll bomb in the middle of them and slow them all. He's probably got the best utility out of the golems. Golems overall just aren't that useful. But uh, out of the bunch, he's probably the most useful. I guess the next best one would probably be uh, Blood Golem for the lifesteal. Especially since they changed it to where when he uh, gets hit, you don't lose life as well. But uh, I never find myself needing health, honestly, so I just don't care about that. Ow. Fucking hell. Okay, everyone get over here, please. Jesus Christ. Half of them were stuck on the other side of that fucking wall. <laughs> uh, poor Mephisto. Even without revives, he didn't stand a chance. Let's see. And now for some summoner build info. Uh, attack damage obviously doesn't matter, but because you're using the Beast Rune Word, you actually have a fairly decent attack. Your uh, attack rating will be mostly horrible, <laughs> but if you decide to hit something, I guess you'll have some damage. Uh, let's see, defense is uh, good because I've got so much dex. Now, you can go all vitality and get away with it. But uh, when you get hit by a hard-hitting monster, and it will happen extremely rarely, something will decide to hit you, it's nice to have either high defense or high block rate. I chose block rate. You're going to get some defense out of it as well. Uh, your, your life's going to be eh, better than some, worse than most. It's not a great life total, but it works. You've got too many minions surrounding you to worry about how much health you have. Uh, mana is decent, mostly from items. Uh, resists aren't maxed but it won't matter. Like I said, you're not going to get hit much. And they're close enough to mask, max from the, uh, the scintillating jewels in the equipment. Stat totals will be in the video info. Uh, mostly it's strength to use equipment, dexterity to get a good block rate, and the rest of the vitality. And for equipment, Harlequin's Crest, the best caster item, hands down. I mean... Plus the skills is beautiful, plus the base life and mana is beautiful. All resist, damage reduced, just tons of good mods. Uh, I think the, yeah, the all resist isn't naturally on there. I've got the faster hit recovery and all resist jewel in the Harlequin's Crest. It's adding the plus 7% faster hit and the 15 to resist. Uh, Mara's awesome for just about anyone. Plus due to skills, $30 resist, nothing to, to sneeze at there. Amazingly good item. Beast. Now, the reason I'm using Beast is because it has a Fanaticism Aura. Fanaticism Aura is one of the extremely few ways to add attack speed to your minions. Obviously, it adds damage and attack rating too, but mainly it's for the attack speed. Beast is extremely nice. It will add tons of DPS to your minions. Get a Beast for Summoner. Work on getting a beast for your summoner. It makes a huge difference. Uh, most of the other stats don't matter. You're not going to be physically attacking. I mean, crushing blow, open wounds, fast attack speed, all that sounds nice, but you're not going to be using your melee attack, so it's all irrelevant. Enigma. Get a fucking Enigma for your summoner. You need teleport. Teleport is your way of grouping your minions back up so they don't get lost and disappear, and you have to resummon them. Or they get stuck on walls and aren't fighting enemies. If they aren't fighting enemies, they might as well not even be there. So, uh, teleport is amazing for stacking your minions where you want them to be. Also, it has uh, plus two to skills, faster run walk, base strength, lots of base strength for uh, equipping items. Uh, some damage reduced, just good stats overall, but mainly you want it for the, the teleport. Homunculus, amazingly good offhand item. 
It's got a good block rate, which allows you to pump decks and get a, a good total block rate. Uh, plus the curses is decent. Plus two to necromancer skills is awesome. I've got a I've got another faster hit recovery all resists uh, jewel in it, which is adding to the forty resists that homunculus already adds. Uh, the plus to base energy is awesome. Regenerate mana is great for a caster. It's just a great item, especially for this particular build. Uh, Trang Uls is there for the pluses, the faster cast rate, and the cold resist. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot of great choices for this particular build for hand items. Most hand items add mods that we just don't need as a summoner. This is probably your best bet. You could probably get a couple of good uh, magic items or rare type gloves that might fit better, maybe. But this is a pretty good fit. Stone of Jordans for the obvious plus to skills and increasing maximum mana. Arachnid for the obvious plus to skills and faster cast rate. And Marowak for the plus to skeleton mastery. This is a summoner build after all. The faster run walks obvious. Regenerate mana is nice. Half freeze duration is nice for when you don't have your Raven Frost on. Uh, speaking of Raven Frost, it's always on all of my people for the switch because it is good for certain fights. For the charms, I've got the Necromancer Torch, Annihilus, Geeds, and then plus one to all skill Grand Charms. Uh, let's see. For the Merc, I have an Indarial's Visage. This is one of the few builds that I don't swap out the Merc's helmet ever. He just doesn't need the extra defense. There's too many of my own minions surrounding him for him to take much damage. So the offensive based Andarials is pretty much always better than the Vamp Gaze on this particular build. The same lacquered plate 42 to have on all the Mercs and the same infinity that I have on probably three of my builds because Conviction is just amazing <laughs> and it has ridiculous damage the the Infinity Rune Word turns a Colossus Volge into a damaging monster weapon which is all nice Plus, uh, Crushing Blow and Faster Run Walk for your Merc to get into the fight faster is awesome. Plus the Vitality for his health. Just good mods overall. And for skills, you're going to want to focus on Raising Skeletons, Raising Skeletal Mages, Skeleton Mastery. Uh, you can put a lot into Revive if you so choose. It's up to you. Uh, which golem you put a lot into is, again, up to you. It doesn't really matter. Uh, everything else is going to be one point. I've got one point in these, just because I like to have uh, Bone Wall and Bone Prison synergizes with it to add more health. And uh, obviously you want co Corpse Explosion. You only need one point into it. Adding more points just increases the radius, and it's not our main source of damage anyways. So it's pretty much a one point wonder. So, uh, out of this tree, Corpse Explosion and the Bone Wall and the Bone Prison are basically all I use. Uh, curses. Mainly all I use is Amp Damage, and you could stop there. That's completely possible. I've got more, more, uh, Curses just to play around with. Sometimes I'll use Decrepify, sometimes I'll use Lower Resist. Uh, rarely I'll use Iron Maiden. Just to play around with. All you really need is Amp Damage. And all you really need out of this tree is Corpse Explosion. You can completely forego all these and save some points. But uh, the problem is, there's just not much to put it into. I mean, other than beefing up your Golem a bit more, there's just nowhere to put the points. <laughs> if you want more revives, I think 28 is a pain in the ass as it is to keep 28 up. So uh, usually I only put one point into it. I've obviously got more right now, but there's just not many places to put these other points. I mean, uh, other than a single point in Corpse Explosion and Amp Damage and uh, maxing out these three, there's there's just, you know, a ton of fluff points you don't need. So wherever you feel like putting them, doesn't matter to me, just wherever the hell you think they should go. Basically to taste. Uh, your primary skills, like I said, are Amp Damage and Corpse Explosion. That's, that's pretty much it. That's it to the build. Ah, oh, the Flaming Rivers. I am so happy to be here. Let's see. And damage. Get you guys over here. 
I think I need, yeah, I need one mage, and I'll go ahead and get my revives back up for the hell of it. Like I said, you don't really need the revives for this build to work. You've got to get enough damage just with your skeletons and your auras to destroy pretty much anything, including bosses. Come on. One more. Let's get over here. They're slacking. These big fat dudes make really good minions too. Do good physical damage, tank well. They even have a stun built in. Come on, get moving. Ah, hello. Hello, Oblivion Knights. Yeah, let's get over here. There we go. As you can see, when the clay golem bomb hits, everything around him just gets slowed down. Which is nice. See, look at his swing rate. <laughs> nice little benefit. There's so much utility built into Necro. Especially now that you can put auras on anyone. He can have utility from auras, from any curse he likes. Uh, his uh, clay golem brings slow. His uh, blood golem brings leech. There's just a, not a, a lot of nice utility all into one little package. Well, so I think this is probably the safest build in the entire game, along with the easiest. I mean, the enemy has so many targets other than you <laughs> that you almost never get targeted, let alone take damage. Come on, guys. Let's get over here. Wow, there's a lot of enemies right here. Let's make this a little bit quicker. There we go. Exploding corpses. Come on, guys, get over here. Yeah, teleport basically is just there for a form up button. It gets everyone off of walls and where they should be doing their job, raping faces. Let me go and pop these because I'm completely unafraid. No matter what the fuck mods the, the uh, these guys have, the special, it won't matter. They're fucked. Regardless. Get some of these potions on for the hell of it. And get some more revives up. There we go. Come on, guys, get over here. I like to have one point in Bone Wall. It helps a lot earlier on in the game when you're not level 99 with ridiculous auras. You can uh, surround yourself with Bone Walls or Bone Wall off a corridor and have your minions fight without you being in danger at all. When you're this strong, though, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Your minions are just too beast for for you to need any extra defense. They're gonna kill everything so quickly. 
Uh, more fucking revives. Let's do some melee damage to Lord Desace. Desace. I think it's how you say that. Ah, crown. Interesting. Huh. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Hello. Let's make sure the golem's in the middle of him. And we'll throw some corpse explosions just to speed things up. Goodbye. Go ahead and pop some more revives. Not even death can save you from me. Unless, of course, I die and it takes me to town and I'm 100% safe. In which case, yeah, it can save me. Uh, come on, guys. Get on top of him. There we go. And he's already dead. <laughs> uh, poor Diablo. Let's see what the grand charm is. Eh, no thanks. Oops. Well, anyways, that was some summoner gameplay for you guys. The easiest build in the entire game to play, the safest build in the entire game to play. Once you start getting rune words, it's really strong and effective. There's just no downside, honestly. There is no weakness to the summoner build. <laughs> Other than it's a little less uh, active playing. You're pretty much just watching your minions do everything. I guess someone will see that as a downside. Anyways, uh, if you got any comments, leave them in the the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. If I remember right. Let's see. Oh, 28. Even more than I thought. Get over here, guys. Teleport is so unbelievably vital for a summoner. When you get a huge army, your minions will, uh, They'll fall behind, they'll get off screen, they'll get lost, they'll get stuck on objects, and you'll lose them, and you'll have to keep resummoning them, which is a massive pain in the ass. Whereas, uh, having Enigma for teleport completely removes that problem. Absolutely wonderful, lovely item. Alright, hello people, I'm the dude, and these are my favorite builds for every class in Diablo 2. Uh, keep the following in mind. Summoner time, summoner time, let's see, clay golem, what else do I need to set up, well, I need some corpses, create some corpses please, thank yous, please and thank yous, yeah, uh, just ignoring the fact that Amazon was my favorite at one time, obviously not anymore, summoner is now my current favorite, I always loved Necro. Necro was fucking awesome from the beginning of the game. But uh, since they included Rune Words, the power of the Summoner has just gone through the roof. Amazing, lovely, beautiful build. Uh, you'll see the power of it for the for the awesome, the anal destruction. I think it's fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen is my current max. Basically, all you have to do is spam amplified damage. That's pretty. I don't quite have uh, the full army yet. I'm getting there. One more. This guy should do it. Oh, never mind. Won't let me revive him. Awesome. Amp damage. 
Get over here. There we go. There we go. Full build. Or, uh, full army. Full army of the dead. Of death and destruction. Go ahead and get over here. That's pretty much it. That's your goal in life as a summoner. Just keep amp damage going. And if you feel like it, keep your revives up. Other than that, it's pretty fucking straightforward. Once you got the build set up right. Uh, there's a revive. I have something like 24 revives. <laughs> 